Over the years, there's been a handful of games that tap into spelling and wordplay that I've enjoyed, and there's a new one called Spellspire now available. But does this game spell out hit, or is it just a miss? Spellspire is a mix of an action RPG with a spelling test. Basically, you go from level to level in a tower where you have to defeat a certain number of monsters per floor, and to do so, you have to spell words using 10 letters that they end up giving you. You can make words all the way up to 10 letters, but at minimal, they have to at least be 3 letter words. For completing floors and defeating monsters, you will earn money that you can then use to upgrade your character. You have three main pieces of your equipment to worry about. Wands, that of course will be your attack. You have a few different elements like ice, fire, and poison that you'll have to manage and decide which of the wands you want to go with, upgrade accordingly, and certain fights will be better with certain rods, especially when it comes to the boss encounters. There's also your main armor that you'll be able to upgrade as well as hats. In order to unlock the equipment so that you're able to even buy it, you will have to make it to certain levels of a tower or collect a certain number of stars. Basically, after completing a level, you can then redo the stage with a harder goal in mind, like making sure you don't take any damage in that particular level, and you're rewarded with some extra money as well as a star. A certain number of stars collected will earn you different equipment that you'll then be able to buy. You can also upgrade things like your base attack and base health without anything being equipped and even upgrade your inventory. When you defeat enemies, they will sometimes drop items that you will then be able to use, such as health potions or magic spells, or an item that works kind of like this dictionary that will find a large word amongst all the letters you have and you'll instantly be able to use it in a pinch. The game comes down to, though, how well you're able to spell and come up with words, especially looking at the 10 letters that are on your screen and how fast you're able to do so. Bigger words will, of course, net you more damage to your enemies, though you're able to do pretty well even with 3, 4, or 5 letter words if you're able to get them out in pretty quick succession. If you're someone who loves board games like Scrabble and Boggle, you're probably going to have a good time with Spellspire, as it's very similar as far as just seeing that set of letters and instantly getting your mind working to come up with the biggest word possible in order to deal damage. With the status effects of the likes of fire that will burn enemies for a period of time and ice that will freeze their attack bar for a period, these really end up coming in handy as far as able to break it up a bit so you have a couple of moments to think. Now, you can pause the game at any time as well, but when you do so, all the letters at the bottom have gone away. Of course, you guess you could cheat and write down the letters so you could pause and come up with as many words as possible before going back into the game, but that kind of defeats the purpose. There's a large amount of levels here, with a hundred for the main tower as you're climbing it, and even a dungeon with even more levels for you to explore as well. Every ten floors there is a boss encounter, and these are obviously tougher enemies that will deal a lot more damage, and you'll have to be on your A-game if you're going to be able to take them out. From the technical side of things, though, the game did run smoothly. I didn't run into major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. Spellspire is available now on PC, PS4, and Xbox One for $9.99, and it got its original start on mobile. And if you're on a PlayStation 4, it does feature a full trophy list, including a Platinum. Overall, I had a lot of fun with the game. In fact, more than I thought I was going to. I'm a terrible speller, especially under pressure with a time limit, since you're always worried about when the next attack from the enemy you're facing is going to end up happening. And when tougher enemies can one-shot you, you're under a lot of pressure to get those words done. But if you're able to pull it off and defeat that enemy, it is pretty rewarding. This is the kind of game that's not for everyone, but if you do like spelling and wordplay, you're probably going to have some fun with it. And that's why I'm going to be giving Spellspire a 7 out of 10. But anyway, guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.